histology of major salivary glands. Salivary glands make, modify and secrete saliva into our oral cavity. Each major salivary gland is made of a number of lobes or divisions. Each lobe has a duct that branches and ends in an SNI. SNI are rounded sacs. In these sacs, saliva is produced, moved into small ducts, which moves into a main duct that finally drains into our mouth. Salivary glands are made up of three types of cells. SNR cells, ductal cells, and myoepithelial cells. These are the cells in the SNI, that is the SNR cells. Ductal cells are present in ducts, intercalated ducts, this is the yellow area, and striated ducts, which is the green area. Intercalated means present in between, and as you can see, they are present in between the SNI. Striated ducts are called so because they show stri or lines inside. These are the myoepithelial cells. Starting with the SNR cells, these are either serous or mucus or seromucus that is made of both serous and mucus type of cells. Serous cells are pyramidal in shape and mucus cells are cylindrical in shape. In serous SNI, the lumen is small, secretion is thin and watery. In mucus SNI, the lumen is large for containing the thick mucus secretion. Seromucus SNI are called as seromucus demilunes, named after the half moon shaped cells at the base of the mucus sacs. These seromucus demilunes are seen present in the sublingual gland and the submandibular gland. Only serous SNI are present in the parotid gland. The submandibular gland have mostly serous type of SNI with some mucus SNI also present. The sublingual gland have mostly mucus type of SNI, but there are also some serous SNI present. Because of the presence of both type of cells in the submandibular and sublingual gland, they are called as mixed glands. Serous secretion is thin and watery, so logically it helps to dissolve food. Serous SNI contain granules called zymogen granules which secrete the enzyme amylase that helps in digestion of carbohydrates. The parotid gland secretion is purely serous and very rich in salivary amylase. Submandibular and sublingual gland both have mucus SNI and these have mucinogen granules that dissolve to produce mucin. Mucin is made of long chain of sugar molecules which we call as mucopolysaccharides. Mucus produced is thick, slippery and viscous and helps to form food bolus that is rounded mass of chewed food. Next are the ductal cells. Intercalated ducts have cuboidal or flat cells. Striated ducts show cells that are striated, that have lines. If you look at these cells carefully, you can see these striae. Striae means lines. You can pause and read more about why these lines are formed. Lastly, we have the myoepithelial cells. These are large contractile cells of epithelial origin, which wrap around both the SNR cells and the ductal cells and contract to squeeze the saliva out of the gland and into the oral cavity. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Do leave a comment, give this video a thumbs up, share, and if you enjoy this video, want to hear from me again, be sure to press that subscribe button. You can also click on any of these links given here to watch a video of your choice.